So the virtual reality training came about uh, from a, a mastermind group that I'm, I, I'm a part of and uh, we've been a part of for about uh, six or seven years now. But a member who was in the group had talked about uh, this, this concept of VR training. And at that point, it was still you know, relatively new. And so we, we tried to find out what, what company you know, he was involved with and so forth. And, and so there's a, a company out of uh, California called Embodied Labs. And we had some calls with them and wanted to learn a little bit more about the product. And you know, one thing led to another where, where we saw it as an opportunity, uh, again, to be unique and uh, different in terms of the type of, of training that we provide. But basically what it is, is it's a, a, a virtual reality headset that a caregiver will put on. And there are several different modules that you can choose your training from. So there could be a module that will have a three-part a three-part session, but there could be a three-part Alzheimer's module. And so you'll put put on the headset, and then you are embodying the person who is afflicted with with Alzheimer's. And so I think the very first uh, session that you're in, and each session is about five or seven minutes. A person's at the front of the room, and she's a school teacher, and she's forgetting. Um, you know, how to write a number up on the board for the very first time. She's forgetting something for that very first time where you're actually experiencing it from her perspective. Uh, some of the other modules, there's a hospice uh, module. So you're embodying the person when you're sitting down in a doctor's office and getting a terminal diagnosis. And I know it sounds very difficult, which it is, but you're actually experiencing that, which is very, very emotional because a lot of our Caregivers may have a family member that just went through hospice or um, some type of diagnosis. And so then it goes to the point where the last session, you are actually uh, a hospice patient and you're in you're, you're, you're on your, your deathbed. And um, it's just such a, a different perspective that our caregivers can um, come to realize. And I, I I can't tell you how many caregivers that have gone through it that actually will thank us for allowing us the opportunity or allowing them the opportunity to go through uh, the VR training. And and we're using the VR training in in several different ways. Um, Our goal is is just, especially during those first 90 days when a caregiver comes on board, our goal is to, to get in touch with them and really use this as a touch point. So after they've gone through some of the, the orientation, then we may have them come in seven to 10 days later and then offer uh, the, another, like an Alzheimer's um, uh, training for them. And then maybe uh, 30 days later, we'll offer the hospice or you know, just kind of spacing it out a little bit, but using it as a, a touch point and an opportunity for them to learn and, and grow. And then we're also using it to, uh, for our existing caregivers and setting up times for them Usually a couple of days a week, we'll set up some times where they can call ahead of time and uh, schedule a, a VR training session. But you know, we've had some caregivers with a tremendous amount of experience, and they've said, like, you have to get other people through here. You have to get other people to, to, to see what I just saw, because I thought I knew it all, but I didn't know it all. Um, and actually our, our trainer who helps with that, she had uh, spoken with me not too long ago and said, as I was putting on the headset and I was embodying the, the client, I kind of realized that as a caregiver, there are times when maybe I shouldn't be sitting or standing in a certain position because that might be uncomfortable for the client or for whatever reason it might be. So there's just so many things that, that you can learn. And then on top of that, we're also looking to at ways that we can engage the technology with our clients. And so we've had two clients in particular uh, that we've done a pilot with. And so we've had them come into the office and one was a spouse of a client who had dementia. And then the other, uh, the daughter was there with uh, the mom and they went through it and just, they were, they thought it was remarkable. And then there was another client that went through it, uh, another Alzheimer's session, and they thought it was just um, just a really, really um, valuable 
uh, a valuable resource for them in terms of how they can understand things and how they can communicate more effectively with their loved one. So it's it's been great, and uh, we're we're still trying to figure out ways to to offer it um, uh, to to more people and 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 get more of our caregivers involved, and, and certainly get more clients involved because it seems like the pilot is working out pretty well. Thank you.